This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today I want to talk about a lockpicking product that I'm now selling over on CovertInstruments.com. I think they could be a real game changer for beginners, and I'll explain exactly what I mean by that in just a moment. But first, what are these? They are Lishi brand lockpick and decoder tools that are each designed for a different keyway. These two on the left cover by far the two most popular residential keyways in the US. We have Schlage SC1 and Quickset KW1. These two on the right are very popular padlock formats. We have Master M1 and American Lock AM5. Now to show you why they may be a game changer, I have to show you them in action and compare that to how I normally pick. We're going to start with this ABIS 83 padlock and I will first open it using traditional tools. We're using top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths thick pry bar and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Nothing on one. Little click on two. Nothing on three. Click on four. Little click on five, back to the beginning. Nothing on one, two, three is binding tightly. Three feels set. Nothing on four or five. One is binding. Got to click out of one and this is open. Now watching that video, what you might not appreciate is that my ability to precisely place my pick on the exact pin I'm targeting and then move it in a controlled manner is the product of thousands of hours of practice. The reason I think these leashes can be so effective in the hands of a beginner is that they allow the same precision of pick placement and movement without the practice and building of muscle memory. So let's try to open the same padlock using the appropriate leashy. This is the KW1 leashy, which is inserted just like a key. Then we fold this tab out and use it to tension it. And then to figure out where the pick is in the keyway, we just look at this little grid. Nothing on one. Click out of two. Click out of three. Four feels like it could be set. Click out of five, back to the beginning. Maybe something out of one. Click out of two. Three is binding again, little click there. Nothing on four or five. One is binding and we got this open. Okay, as you saw, placing the pick on the correct pin and making it move in a controlled manner was really as simple as looking at this little grid. And that's what really sold me on these. I put them in the hands of five people who had never picked before, including Mrs. Lockpicking Lawyer and they were getting consistent opens with minimal instruction. We're gonna try this again with one of the locks I gave to those beginners. It's a Master Lock brand knob, which has an SC1 Schlage style keyway. So we're going to insert the appropriate leashy tool, flip out the tab, tension it, and pick it in the same way. One is loose, so is two, Three feels like it could be set. Not sure what's going on with four. Five is binding. Click there. Four feels set. So does three. Two is binding. Click there. One is binding. And we got this open. Now I had mentioned that these are picks and decoders. Decoding is really as simple as just checking how deep each pin is after you pick it. And I showed that whole process in video 1244, which I will link below. Okay, folks, I think it's pretty clear this is something that almost anyone can do. That it's achievable with so little practice is really what sets these tools apart. As I said, I am now selling them over on CovertInstruments.com, so head over there if you're interested, but that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.